So my name is Nikita Sajiva and I'm a graduate project engineer at Honeywell. Honeywell essentially does building management systems, so that includes HVAC equipment, monitoring and controlling it, as well as security systems, so cameras, secure access, things like that. My role at the moment is at the Sydney Opera House, where they're doing the HVAC side of the business upgrade. So they're stripping the old controllers and equipment and putting Honeywell hardware and software into the place. So it's a, quite a big upgrade and the main point is to save energy for the Opera House. Essentially, I was born in Russia, where I spent a few years. Then we moved to Dubai, no, to Dubai, to Sri Lanka actually first, because my dad's from Sri Lanka, so we spent a fair few years there. And after that, I lived for another 10 years or so in Dubai, and I moved towards the end of high school to Sydney, Australia. So that's what happened there. And then following that, I joined UNSW straight out of school, did a double degree in mechanical engineering and commerce with a major in finance. So it took me six years, it's a five and a half year degree, but it took me a bit longer because I was um, doing thesis at a slower pace. And yeah, as soon as I finished, joined Honeywell. I think yes, another person could do the job, especially because um, even applying for a project engineer role here, it's open to people from mechanical degrees, mechatronics degrees, electrical degrees, they take everyone across the board. So it's not, um, it's not something like you, you, you use everything you study at uni, it's more like it prepares you for what you're going to learn here. You're always going to be pushed outside your comfort zone and have to learn. Um, the same goes for the finance part of it. As a project engineer, perhaps going on to something like project management, finance will be useful, but you can pick it up on the job as well. So it's not essential. Going out to site and seeing pretty cool buildings and how they work, I really enjoy that. Um, personally, like Sydney Opera House, as surprising as it may seem, I haven't actually visited to see a show at Sydney Opera House before, and now I actually go to the stage door entrance and I visit the building from inside and I see how things work. It's quite a cool experience. So essentially, uh, I think one of them is that you have to be quite physically fit because you have to move around site quite a lot and find different people all around the place. So that's quite important. Um, working on weekends and things like that, I'm not too sure if that's going to happen or not because I'm fairly new here. But I think the work-life balance is quite important at Honeywell. Um, whenever I ask, like in my first few weeks, I ask people roughly what time to start, what time to finish. And as long as you do your eight hours or so, it's quite flexible. It's mainly getting your job done. You know, if you have some other commitments and you have to come a bit late, leave earlier, that's flexible and they can accommodate that. Develop really good communication skills because it's really important for any sort of work that you do. I've done a few internships in different fields and you know having good written skills and having good oral skills is very important across the board. So that's important and then I think um, when you're going to study further on it's good to pick a degree that opens many doors. For example I picked engineering but I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do engineering out of uni. I just know it's going to open a lot of doors later on. Uh, it just happens to be that I started at Honeywell at the moment. And the last one, well, I guess it's really good to be a traveler in a way. So you, you're sort of familiar with different cultures, different languages, and you can associate with people better. So perhaps that could help me as well in my career because, you know, I've lived in many countries that speak different languages and it's a bit more easier for me than someone who grew up in the same place. So yeah, just those three. Okay.